Your empire is one of, if not the most important thing during your CK3 run. If you're in an area that has a bad empire, you're probably not going to be as strong as you could have been, or you may even struggle to win against your neighbors. In this video, I go over the top 5 worst empires in CK3. This list is going to be based on a few different factors, with the amount of counties, special buildings, terrain, and development in 867 being a few. I'm not taking into factor if the empires are made in 867 or not, as it doesn't change how bad they are. I'm also not taking into account local cultures inside the empires. Alright, let's start off with our number 5. Starting off the list in Europe, we have the Baltic Empire. You need to have 43 counties inside the specified area to form this empire, which in my opinion, isn't really worth it for what you get out of it. The development in all its provinces is definitely not the best by any means, with the highest developed province having 4 development. The Vikings to the north of you are going to be an absolute pain the first 150 years you play, meaning that you're going to have to be prepared to face 9,000 strong Viking armies literally as soon as you start the game. There's only one usable special building if you don't count holy sites, which I don't, which is a university. The majority of the terrain in this run was above average though, being forest and plains, with a few bad wet plains thrown in. I wouldn't call this one terrible and useless by any means, but there are definitely better ones to make, like every empire that surrounds you, for example. I already know that some people are rushing to the comments to type, why is Tabat on this list? They have over 150 counties in the empire title. And my answer to that is who wants to play in Tibet long enough to form this empire? It's also my subjective list where I could really put anything I feel like, but whatever, forget about that. This is one of the biggest empires in the game, but all its provinces are low development, low tier terrain, and low supply limit, meaning taking all the required provinces is going to feel like working an 8 hour shift at a minimum wage job. There's also not a single special building outside of holy sites, adding on to the terribleness of Tibet. Whenever you do end up conquering it though, you can look to your south and conquer the high development Indian provinces if you feel like it. You will never convince me that this is a good empire. Khazaria is one of the easier empires to form in CK3. Having only 35 counties in the empire title in total, it's not going to be complicated. What is going to be complicated though, is figuring out how exactly you aren't going to fall behind your neighbors and eventually be destroyed by the Mongol Empire. If you form this empire, there's a 95% chance you're going to be forced to put your capital in a till just due to the development in the province. This is a decent empire title if you are tribal, but once you turn feudal or clan, the amount of terrible provinces will be pretty painful. Over half the provinces in this empire are steppes, giving dev growth minus 50%. The rest of the provinces sprinkled in are mostly lower tier, being mountains, desert, and hills. You do have like 5 plain provinces though, so at least you have something. I figured in order to make this list interesting, and not fill up half the list with basically the same empires, I just lumped these all together. The empires in this slot are Volga Ural, Tataria, and Siberia. All of these empires suffer from the same issues. Lack of good conquering areas, below average terrain, and absolutely horrible supply limits dominate these three empires. And to finish it off, you are guaranteed to be absolutely obliterated by the Mongol Empire. This is an area that you do a single playthrough in, and after that you never even dare to play here ever again. Just like in my top 5 worst kingdoms list, something regarding Mongolia takes the number 1 spot. I'm sorry, but I can't get over how bad Mongolia is if you're just looking at their kingdom and empire titles. There isn't a single good terrain province in this entire empire. Development doesn't go above 5, and like most of these, the supply limit is miserable. You won't have any good areas to conquer for at least the first 100 years, and you border the worst area to conquer in the entire game, Tibet. I know what people are going to say, that you're probably going to use this title to form the Mongol Empire, but what if you don't or can't form the Mongol Empire? This is by far the worst empire in the game if you don't form the Mongol Empire. Do you think I should have switched around positions, or maybe even put another empire on this list? Just let me know, and thank you for watching.